That's a nice little walleye. Ooh, nice one to see. <laughs> All right. Nice. Well, that didn't take long. There we go. Beautiful. Didn't take us long to catch one in this spot, but we've been creeping around for about an hour looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not a bad start there. Pretty Scott true. Walsh with the Midwest Outdoors with my good friend Roger Cormier here, and we're on a little bit of a blustery lake of the woods today, but uh, it's that time of year where it's time to start chasing some walleyes out here on Lake of the Woods, and right now we got a couple slip bobbers out and just put them out, fish number one. Stick with us for a little bit and we'll tell you a little bit about what we're doing. That's interesting, Scott. We're in 20, 21 feet of water and we set the corks here for our first pass at 15 feet. So these fish are riding a little bit high in the water column and we've seen some high fish on the hummingbird, but you think you made that cast out off the edge of the, the reef a little bit on the edge of the break? Yeah, I tried, tried to throw where I thought the rocks were falling off into the break and it's pretty easy to do with the Mega Live. I just kind of spun the head of the trolling motor to, towards where that break is, and as soon as the bottom disappeared on me, that's where I threw the cork, and I don't know, it, I don't think it was out there 20 seconds before it went down. Considering we've been looking for them a little bit here, that's good that we moved to this spot and got one so quick. <laughs> Let's get another. Look at the Sacra Icon, just bad, man. It's power and action. This rod for bobber fish and walleyes is the best. Man, is it ever load the rod perfectly when your bobber goes down, you set the hook, and then fights these bigger fish. Just beautiful blank for the bobber and big eyes. One of my favorite ways to catch them. Oh, yeah. Another chunk. Yeah, this is beautiful. Well, and Scott, we'll get this fish out and release another one on the bucktail, and uh, you know, should talk about how we're using the hummingbird technology to spot the, the little corners in this rock pile that we want to actually cast to. Absolutely. Get, get a quick look at that one. Another dandy. Just a chunk, man. He's been bit by a, by a big pike. All the components of the One Boat Network here on the Skeeter are, are invaluable, but the three pieces that you're really concentrating on right now for what we're doing are the Lake Master chip, the VX chip, and the Mega 360 and, and Mega Live. That VX chip is so good that it'll get you to a spot that you want to fish without even being in the water. You can look at that thing before you even hit the water and know where you want to go. And once you get there and the trolling motor goes in the water, that Mega 360 becomes your best friend. That'll show you the high spots on a reef. It'll show you where the big boulders are, where the transitions are. It shows you right where you want to throw that cork. And then from there, you're dialing in on the Mega Live. That live will show you actual fish swimming around a boulder, per se. It'll see your jig falling or a fish even reacting to your leech as it's coming down. Those three tools are really do all the heavy lifting for you once you get on a spot like this. This one's got some, got some girth here. I haven't, uh, I haven't got a look at it yet. Oh, there it is. Jeez. Nice one. Oh yeah. Nice one. Oh yeah. There we go. Kind of a crappy day to have the camera out. We got, <laughs> we've got to keep it kind of protected, but we got our good rain gear on and there we go. Just real simple presentation, just a little green jig. I'm actually putting on a VMC bucktail instead of this fella here because I had a lot of luck with that lure up here. And, Beautiful walleye, nice chunky fish over the slot, 19 and a half to 28 inches is protected here on Lake of the Woods, but it's a beautiful fish. Arneson's Rocky Point, a full service fishing destination. Lots of folks bring their own boats up here. They have a beautiful concrete boat launch and full service marina, gas, bait, ice. Uh, they also have a charter fleet available. If you don't have your own boat or on really blustery days and you don't have a big enough boat to tackle the wave, Groups of up to six can fish with a Coast Guard licensed captain. All the gear is provided. They've got a lot of great cabins to choose from. Multi-bedroom, great for larger groups or families. Bring all your own groceries and beverages and do your own cooking. Or you can go on the meal plan in the Rock Harbor Lodge and have breakfast and dinner in the lodge as well as a sack lunch out on the lake. Artisan's Rocky Point Resort, a beautiful destination, full service fishing on Minnesota's Lake of the Woods. Ooh, there we go. There you go. <laughs> awesome. Oh, so fun. Brings out the kid in you watching the bobbers go down, even in the waves. We had a fun couple hours. 
Oh, heck yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Swing that bad boy up this way. Keep the bow down. Oh, yeah. That right there. Love it. Come on up here, bud. A little bit of a balancing act in the boat today. <laughs> yeah, but well, <laughs> well, that's why we love the Skeeter. Look at that. What a fish to oh, close beautiful. it up. Hopefully we taught you a little bit about hummingbird technology and bobber fishing walleyes. If you'd like to come up to Minnesota's Lake of the Woods, it's arnison's.com or you can give them a call at the number on your screen, 1-800-535-7585 to start planning your trip. One of Minnesota's best fishing resorts, Arneson's Rocky Point Resort, with my good friend Scott Walsh from Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors. Good way to end it, Scotty. Oh, yeah. <laughs>